Hey guys, this is Shaney, and I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to do what I call finger curls. And, well, I call them finger curls, but technically I guess they're waves. But anyway, if you're like me at all, um, you're what I call follically challenged, which means I suck, suck, suck at doing my own hair. Um, but when I found this, I tried it, and I was absolutely blown away by how easy it was. And um, all I could think was, if I can do this technique, anybody can do it. Anybody. Um, I normally will use the Chi Silk Infusion. Um, and it is just basically um, almost like a heat protectant, and then it smooths out the hair as well. As well. Um, the thing about this is a little bit goes a very long way. Um, I don't use a ton of it. I use about that amount, I would say. Not even like penny or dime sized hardly, like maybe a little bit smaller than that, but I just smooth that through the ends of my hair. Um, I don't really go into uh, the root of my hair because once again, um, you know, I want more volume and so I don't really like to um, go all the way up with it just in the ends because my ends are the driest part of my hair um, and they just give me the most trouble with like frizz and breakage and things like that. So I want the ends of my hair to be a lot more protected. Um, and like I said, it's a volume thing up here. When you have fine, thin hair like me, volume is is on the brain constantly. So what I have done is I've just uh, tied my hair up, leaving the bottom layer down. And then I've also pinned my bangs back and out of the way. And at this point, I would normally like go and do my makeup or whatever I need to do. But it's uh, late at night, so... I'm not even worried about that at this point, and I'm not going to do that. I mean, this is just a hair tutorial. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to take my round brush here, full of hair, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to take just a section of hair, not too big, not too small, and I'm going to take, and this is why they're called finger curls here, I'm going to take two fingers and then wrap the hair around like so. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then just pinch it in place. And I'm using my Chi straightener. I love this straightener. Just be careful and watch your fingers. And then I'm going to just press it down. Hold it for a little bit. Try to get all of that in there. And then whenever you release, that is what you get. Look at that. Is that not crazy? Anyway, I'm going to keep doing this once again. Just take another section of hair. I wanted to show you too is this uh, how to do the other side. I mean, it's basically the same thing, and I'm really I'm going in the same direction as far as like the way that I'm wrapping my hair. Um, I always like to put the two fingers on top of the hair strand. Um, I don't know. I just like how it looks better as opposed to under. But you can go in any direction that you want. Um, it's basically the same thing, uh, same direction. Like I said. And, you know, you're not always going to be able to get all of the hair into the straightener all at once. So you sort of just have to really, really slowly and, like I said, very carefully feed it into the straightener. Um, it's always, it's kind of hard for me to do this side, too. It's, it's always a challenging one. Um, and sometimes you'll get pieces that have, like, longer little strands like that that didn't get curled. Um, and I usually will go back through and, like take a, like, take my finger, one finger, and then just wrap it like that and press it down and that works just fine as well. So I am just taking my hair down. Gosh, that hurt. <laughs> I didn't feel too good. And just going section by section. And like I said, just um, like pulling back little uh, bits and pieces and just like I said, just going section by section, letting a little bit go um, as I go along. Okay, so we are at the final layer of hair, the top layer, um, and at this point, what you might want to do is just part it however you want it. I've got mine like I want it. Um, and then, also, if you are familiar with teasing, if you'd like to tease your hair, um, I would do that at this point as well, especially if you're going to do this um, half up, half down. Uh, I think it works really well, and it's really pretty for a half up, half down look. Um, 
I'm not very good at teasing my hair. Um, I'm afraid that I would absolutely just jack it up like crazy uh, in more ways than one. It would just be really terrible. And so I'm not going to do that. Um, but I am going to go through and spray it with a volumizing hairspray. I'll kind of show you that, um, what I use and what I think about it and everything. Um, but yeah, so this is the final one for me. And I'm just going to do that. I'm not going to do anything with my bangs other than I might run the straightener through them a little bit. Um, and like I said, all the volumizing stuff I'll do afterwards. to being done here. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some volumizing hairspray. This is Pantene's Volume Up Hairspray in Max Hold. Um, it's all day hold and body. A couple of good things about this is that it adds a little bit of, of course it adds volume. Um, it adds texture to the hair. Um, and what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to kind of hold it away and spray it. I'm not going to get too close. I'm going to kind of get up underneath the hair as well the root and just spray it up there too. Um, and I don't like a super polished look to my hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of run my fingers through it just to kind of break it up a little bit. Um, not a ton, but I just feel like that makes it look a little bit more natural. And even though, I mean, we know it's not, but I mean, but it just makes it look a little bit more, a little less polished. And you can leave it that way if you want to. Um, but that's just not my style, so that's kind of what I like to end it out with. And you don't want to spray too close to the head, um, the hair, just because it makes it look sticky and gross and, um, because it is a max hold hairspray. Um, it is one of the more flexible max hold hairsprays, but it's still a max hold, so, um, if you get too close, it's going to make your hair look, um, hard and wet and disgusting and not good. I've done it. It's not a fun experience or anything. But yeah, that that's it. That's all she wrote. Um, I'm going to give you a view of the back and what that looks like. It's just really pretty. Hey guys, it is time for my health tip of the week and this week's tip is play it up. It's time to make yourself feel beautiful and or handsome. Um, you know, do something that, like I said, makes you feel beautiful. For me, um, you know, doing my hair and then, of course, doing my makeup, which we're not doing my makeup tonight. But, um, you know, doing my hair, doing my makeup, getting dressed up, things like that, that makes me feel beautiful. Um, and it makes me feel good about myself um, in a physical sense. Um, so, you know, that's uh, when I started this video, didn't feel so hot, didn't you? And I don't feel hot now, so I'm saying. But you know what I'm saying. Um, just do something that uh, makes you feel good about yourself. And um, for me, like I said, it was doing my hair this evening, and I really like how it turned out. Um, sometimes um, when I do my hair, it's a, a hit or miss, but with this one, every single time, it works every single time. So if you guys like this video, um, thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys next week. Peace.